I have here one carrot, two potatoes, one onion, and two garlic cloves. And I'm going to boil these ingredients till they're tender. This nacho sauce is going to taste so delicious. Then we're going to transfer them to a blender. And I'm going to use a net to remove the ingredients from the hot water. I'm going to add some salt and some nutritional yeast and blend. And then I'm going to put it in a container and set aside. This will last up to four days. So you will need to use it as soon as possible. But it goes in anything. It goes in pasta, broccoli, as a dip, anything. So now we're going to move on to our chili. And for our chili, we're going to use a red onion, tomato, and cilantro. And we're going to add that to some already boiling pinto beans. I'm going to add one chipotle pepper. And I'm going to allow these ingredients to become soft and tender alongside with the beans. This is going to add lots of flavor and fiber and nutrients. I love adding different species of plants into my food. Now I'm going to add my spices. I have some cumin here. I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin, some paprika powder, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of your favorite taco seasoning. I'm using Taco Street. I like to use this seasoning because it has good ingredients. It doesn't have sugar and it has a, just a small amount of salt and no oils. It's a pretty healthy seasoning. Now here I have two cups of TVP and I put it in some water and I'm going to allow it to soak until my beans are ready. So to my beans, the beans are tender now. We are going to use an emulsion blender to mash up our beans. You could also do this manually with a potato masher, but I like to use my emulsion blender because I have it. So I'm just going to blend this to a mushy consistency. This is to my liking. The texture seems fine. I like having just a few pieces of beans and a lot of like delicious starch. Now I'm going to add my TVP into the beans. This is going to give it a meaty texture. If you don't have TVP, you can use tofu or tempeh, anything that you really like. Or you can just leave it as. But I want to make it taste a little bit more realistic. I'm going to add just a little bit more of chili powder. And there you have it. Our chili beans are ready. These are so yummy. They're so good. They go great in burritos or anything. Today I'm just going to demonstrate some nachos that I had uh, for lunch one day when I was working. I took a bad picture, but you get the point. A beautiful nachos. Amazing cheesy sauce with chili beans. It's so good, guys. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.